Some damaged DNA bases are repaired by a system called base excision repair. Base excision repair works differently from nucleotide excision repair, which clips out a section of DNA containing a pyrimidine dimer or other defect to replace it with new DNA. Base excision repair acts on other kinds of defective DNA. For example, certain bases that are not supposed to be in DNA, such as uracil, are removed by base excision repair. If the base cytosine spontaneously deaminates, it forms uracil. Uracil can also be incorporated erroneously into a strand during DNA synthesis. If uracil forms in the place of cytosine, it would have a mutagenic effect. Whereas cytosine forms a base pair with guanine, uracil forms a base pair with adenine. During DNA synthesis, DNA polymerase would incorporate an incorrect nucleotide into the growing strand. A few other types of damage are also repaired by the base excision repair system. For example, when adenine becomes deaminated, it forms an unnatural base called hypoxanthine. A mutagen can also damage adenine by alkylating it, converting adenine to 3-methyladenine. Normally, adenine forms a base pair with thymine, but hypoxanthine in its place is mutagenic because it forms a base pair with cytosine. 3-methyladenine is even more damaging. When it is encountered in the replication fork, it stalls DNA synthesis. Consequently, repairing these mutations is vital for survival. Base excision repair employs a battery of glycosylase enzymes that can recognize and clip damaged bases from the phosphodiester backbone. Hypoxanthine DNA glycosylase, 3-methyladenine DNA glycosylase, and uracil DNA glycosylase recognize hypoxanthine and 3-methyladenine and uracil, respectively, when these bases are present in DNA. The glycosylases cleave the bond connecting the damaged base to deoxyribose in the phosphodiester backbone. The result is an intact phosphodiester backbone missing a base. The site is called an AP site. In this case, it is missing a purine and is therefore an apurinic site. If it were missing a pyrimidine, it would be an apyrimidinic site. The next step in base excision repair involves AP endonucleases that specifically cleave the phosphodiester backbone at AP sites. The 3' prime end produced by the AP endonuclease provides a starting point for DNA polymerase 1 to start adding nucleotides. At the same time, the polymerase uses its 5' prime to 3' prime exonuclease activity to degrade the cleaved strand downstream of the AP site. DNA ligase then seals the remaining NIC and the repair process is complete.